to those members of Congress who question my authority to make our immigration system work better or question the wisdom of me acting where Congress has failed, I have one answer. Pass a bill. An immigration game changer. Tonight, President Obama announces an executive order to shield 5 million undocumented immigrants from deportation. Those who qualify could stay in the country temporarily for three years, but they will not be offered a path to citizenship or become eligible for federal benefits. This move obviously is being watched by undocumented immigrants across the country, including many here in Middle Tennessee. Some of them are gathering right now in Antioch tonight to watch the president's prime time address and that's where Fox 17 Sky Arnold is live from the Global Mall tonight. Good evening Sky. Well, guys a lot of happy people were here tonight many of them holding signs like this one right here basically signifying how they feel now that around five million undocumented immigrants have a temporary reprieve if you will from the fear of deportion. I saw that this is a great country to live in. That first impression convinced Martha Lugo to move to the United States in 1989, even though she wasn't a citizen. It is one of my goals. Living with a fear of deportation hasn't been easy because it would mean separation from her children. It is not for me, it is for my daughters. I don't want them to live in fear. I think they deserve to live in peace, uh, hoping that mom and dad can come back home every time they go out. The president's executive order could make that happen for Lugo. Since her children are citizens, she may qualify for a three-year reprieve from deportation. This is a very special day, and it's very emotional for a lot of people. Immigration activists are calling it one of the biggest days in their movement's history. And it's one of probably the best days for a lot of folks sitting in the crowd right now, knowing that uh, when they drive home every day, that they're not going to be pulled over and potentially deported. For Lugo, that's part of it, but as she watches the president's speech in, she can't help but have mixed feelings that not everyone will qualify. It gives me a lot of uh, uh, joy to hear that, but at the same time, I, I feel sad for all these people that have been left out. That's something we heard from a lot of people here tonight. They're hoping that other steps are taken in the future to help people who don't qualify for this because they do not have children who are legal citizens. And that sort of brings us to my story I'm working on for 10 tonight. We spoke to some local children here whose parents are undocumented immigrants. You're going to hear from them again in about an hour. We're live in Antioch. Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.